everyone, so today I wanted to film a products worth the hype video. These are products that everybody's talked about, it's been on, they've been on beauty blogs, YouTube videos, they're known as the best of the best and I've tried them and I agree and I love them. And I'm also going to be filming a products not worth the hype video which should be up in a couple of days. Um, and I ha I'm happy to say that when I was going through my collection I had a lot more products worth the hype than not worth the hype which is nice especially when you're spending your money on makeup. Um, so I have a lot of things here. I actually probably have enough um, still at home to do a second video, so if you like this one, be sure to let me know and I can do another video like this one. But for now, we'll get started on this one. The first two products I have are both makeup removers. The first one is the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. Now this is really good for getting off super stubborn, waterproof makeup. Um, I was wearing... Um, the Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge Liquid Lip Color the other day and that stuff will not come off unless you use an oil based makeup remover. The nice thing about this is that it doesn't break me out at all and I have very sensitive acne prone skin. Um, it works nicely to kind of like I guess break up all the makeup so it comes off without having to like tug at your eyes if you're wearing like waterproof mascara. It's just really nice and definitely worth the hype that it gets. The second makeup remover is actually my favorite and it is from Bioderma and it's their um, Sensi Bio H2O Micelle Solution for Sensitive Skin. It's a water based makeup remover, it's for sensitive skin, I use it every night to get off my eyeshadow, um, usually to get off my mascara because I don't tend to wear waterproof mascaras. Um, I use it all over my whole face. It is on the more expensive side, but it's definitely worth the price. And as long as you're sparing with your cotton pads, it, it just works amazing and it will last you a long time. Speaking of cotton pads, I have the Shiseido Facial Cotton right here. Now when I originally tried this, I had a friend, or before I bought it, I had a friend tell me like once you try these things, you will never go back, you will never use that those cheap kind of round ones again. Didn't necessarily believe her, and the first time that I tried it, I thought, mm, it's okay, but it's, you know, it's not anything amazing. I could still probably use those little round ones. Well, when you do try to go back to those, you notice a huge difference. These are soft, they're cushy, they feel amazing, they're really thick. You only need one pad um, to do like your entire makeup, eye and everything, just because they're so thick. They just, they feel nice. It's one of those things that you have to kind of see to believe. Um, they're usually on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada, um, so if you get a chance, I would definitely try these out. Moving on to hair care, the first thing I have is the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle Deep Treatment. I talk about this a lot. I absolutely love it. It's less than $5. Unfortunately, I think you can only find it in the States because I haven't been able to find it here in Canada. I use this um, more than once a week. Sometimes I use this daily. It just makes my hair soft, easy to work with, helps tame frizz. It's just probably the best deep treatment conditioner that I've ever tried. Next, I have a bottle of Moroccan oil. Now, I'm not saying that Moroccan oil is necessarily the only thing worth the hype. I'm just saying argan oil in general. There's ones from um, L'Oreal. There's the um, I can't remember the macadamia oil line. They're all really nice. They're great. You just need a little bit. They help smooth out hair. Again, take away the frizz. I have very frizzy hair. I'm not sure if you can tell. So I'm always looking for a really good product, and argan oil is definitely amazing. Now I don't have the original container of this with me because I am in the middle of um, packing for a trip, but I have in this container here, this is the Soap and Glory Flake Off Body Scrub, or no, sorry, Flake Away Body Scrub. It is amazing. It is so moisturizing. It's like a thick body butter combined with a body scrub. It smells ridiculously good. Oh. I can't describe the scent, but it's just like clean and fresh and just so, so good. Um, like I said, moisturizing, I don't even usually have to use a body butter after I use this. I still like to because I love their body butter also from the line, but if you haven't tried this, it lasts a really long time and it's so worth the price. Next, I have some of the Real Techniques face brushes. I just picked out these three because they're the first three I saw, but I like everything from the line. They're all synthetic hair. They are all really great quality. They can be used for cream and powder products and they don't break. I have a bunch of Sigma brushes and the metal ferrule part has popped right off of the wooden handle. This is metal all the way through and then it has like this like thick sort of plastic at the bottom. They're just 
they're so worth it and they're not expensive at all and now they're available in Canada so they're more readily available to anybody who wants to pick them up surprisingly in terms of face I only have two products which is weird because I absolutely love blush but I tried to go for two products that are like talked about and hyped up all the time the first is from NYC and it's their matte bronzer in sunny now this costs I believe less than five dollars maybe around three dollars it's a really nice matte bronzer there's not a ton of orange in it it works just as well as any um, matte bronzer I've tried um, I like this more probably than the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil I actually maybe like this more than the um, Chanel I can't remember what it's called it's the cream bronzer that everybody always goes on about um, so worth the price for three bucks and uh, yeah I really like this one next I have one of the Tarte Amazonian clay blushes now I absolutely love all of them I think they're amazing but the one that's raved about the most or talked about the most is exposed oh and mine is breaking so I have to be careful exposed it's this really nice sort of nude brown with pink undertones I'm wearing it today you probably can't tell because I put it on a while ago um, it's soft, it's creamy, it's pigmented, it goes on nicely. I'm not sure I believe the 12 hour wear claim, but it does wear a long time. I like to probably like reapply if I'm going out somewhere at night. Um, it's just a really great blush. All of them are great. If you haven't tried the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes, I don't think you'll be disappointed and you should probably pick one up. In terms of eyes, I have a number of things. The first two are the Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal Eyeshadows. Now they also have the non-metal ones, which are okay, but I prefer the metal ones. The first color I have is Barely Branded, which is just this really nice sort of creamy neutral color. And the second is Inked in Pink. These are my two favorites. It's kind of like a rose gold pink. These go on very smoothly with both your finger or a brush. They last all day. They do not crease. They look nice worn up by themselves. They look nice under a similarly colored powder shadow, and I'm, I really love these. For palettes, I have two things. The first is the Naked Basics palette. I originally told myself I wasn't going to pick this up because I had so many neutral palettes, but after seeing so many rays about it, I gave in and I bought it. I really really like it it's perfect for just doing a neutral smoky eye I tend to like matte eyeshadows more than a shimmer shadow which is this is all mattes except there's one that I wouldn't call a matte that everybody else does um, I just I think it's it's a great staple to have it's great if you're just doing like a weekend away because you can do so many looks with this palette I like doing kind of a light smoky eye I have it on today the next palette I have is from Lorac and it's the Lorac Pro palette this is another palette I told myself I did not need to pick up because I had the Urban Decay Naked um, 1 and Naked 2 palettes. But again, I gave in and I'm so glad I did. I think I like this better than both of the Urban Decay palettes. There's more variety of color. They are all are neutrals, but they almost have a bit of purple, a little bit of red in there, golden. Um, there are the top row, which looks like the bottom row now, um, has all matte shadows and the bottom one has more of shimmer shadows really pigmented really smooth there is a little bit of fallout because they are so creamy but nothing that would stop you from picking one up the last eye product is from urban decay and it's the urban decay primer potion before I found out about eye primer my eye makeup would literally be off in like 20 to 30 minutes it would not stay people always told me like oh you should wear makeup and I would like do this really nice eye and it would be gone and I'm like I am wearing makeup but nobody could see it I've tried a bunch of different eyeshadow primers this is just my primer of choice this is the one that works best to me I always come back to this one if you haven't tried an eyeshadow primer before you definitely need to pick one up they are like life changing not exaggerating. Next I have a bunch of lip products. The first one is from Kors and it's their Lip Butter in Jasmine. This is a really nice moisturizing lip balm and it has kind of a nude tint to it. It smells freaking incredible. It's probably the best smelling makeup beauty item I own. It smells very caramely, caramel popcorn, caramel sundae, something with caramel in it. Um, it doesn't give the lips too much color, but it almost kind of blanks them out and gives you a good canvas. And I have very pigmented lips, so I really like when things can do that. And I have dry lips, so I just love anything moisturizing. Another sort of lip treatment is one that I said I would never buy. Again, it's kind of a theme of mine. And it is the Fresh Sugar um, Lip Treatment. This smells incredible too. It's a, 
Mm, it's a really citrusy, lemony scent. I actually got a full-size stick at a beauty conference that I went to in LA a few years ago, and I thought, okay, this is nice. Like, I'll, I'll use it for now, and when it's gone, you know, I won't get another one, because they are very expensive. And, of course, I loved it that much that I've gotten a bunch of others in different colors. This is just a little sample one from Sephora that they used to give out for birthdays. It's just, it's really nice. Again, it's one of those things that you have to try, and then you'll kind of be a believer at that point. Next for lips, I have the Revlon Lip Butters. I have pretty much every single color of these. They are so pigmented, but yet so moisturizing and smooth. The two I have here are the new ones. Um, this one is in Wild Watermelon, which is kind of a corally, bright corally red. This one is in Sorbet, which is a nice hot pink. Um, well worth the hype. They're not so expensive. They're just as nicely pigmented as a lot of the MAC lipsticks I own, but they're so much more moisturizing because I find the MAC lipsticks to be so completely drying on me. I'm sure most people own at least one of these. If you don't, you need to get to the drugstore and pick one up. My last lip product, and actually my last product for this whole video, I believe, is from Maybelline, and it is their new Color Whispers. Now these are somewhat similar to the Revlon Lip Butters, although I would say they're a little bit more moisturizing, but a little bit less pigmented. Uh, this one is in my favorite color. It is Lust for Blush, which is a really nice sort of brown nude with pink undertones to it. They last nicely on the lips. I do have to reapply throughout the day, but that's just my lips. I always have to reapply my makeup. I haven't found a lip primer like I found the eyeshadow primer that will make my lipstick stay. Um, just really great like I said there's a variety of colors and I really love just like hybrid lip balm lipsticks so that is it for my products worth the hype video be sure to leave me a comment below let me know what products you think are worth the hype if you agree with my choices if any of my choices or products you think are not worth the hype and I will see you in the next video thanks so much for watching bye